Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. In the last episode, we got to the point where we can recruit a henchman. And I have chosen to recruit Jubei because I accidentally killed him the first time. So, an angry janitor turned samurai. He's been in hiding since the last Evil Genius's empire crumbled. Bring him on side before he grow go goes underground again. Will do. What do I need to do? Oh, I just need to get him. That's helpful. No bullshit storyline. Um, okay, so we're going to have to set up a broadcast uh, criminal network here in Japan. Let's build a new repeater. I think the last time I juggled my criminal networks. But this time we'll be a little bit more proactive. Meanwhile, have I gotten the nuclear power deal I do yet? I have not. I haven't even started it yet. We need the nuclear power deal I do. Do the do the deal I do. What's your face? Polar, get over here and tell your stupid, stupid people to work on this. Actually, let's see. Overclock improves their performance. Yeah, it's gonna hit all three of them. Alright. I don't see how that would improve their performance by making them colder, but, uh, you know, as long as it works, who am I to complain? And they're complaining about heat, so sure, let's add a space heater or two here. Ah, oh, there's no room. Um, alright, let's shift the impact analyzers over a skosh. And then place the this. Uh, I guess here and here? Sure. That seems to be good enough. Um, yeah, do that please. And now that the overclock is over, let's crunch time it and hopefully this gets done quicker. And so now that we have our next broadcast signal, we'll establish a criminal network here in Japan. Eastern Hammer. It's still weird to me that Hammer, Russia, owns Japan in this reality. And all of Europe, for that matter. I mean, whoa, wait a minute. None of my networks have anybody doing anything? Holy crap, no wonder I'm running out of cash. Alright, this one's about capped, so we'll kill the heat. This one is not capped, we'll get money. This one is kind of in the middle, let's kill the heat. This one is almost shut down, kill the heat. And over here, wow, I have not been paying attention to the world stage like I should be. This is the first test of our choke point to see if it works properly. And it sort of does. She didn't get revealed until she turned the corner. I might have to put Frost actually in the hallway, I mean Polar. All right, anyway, we've got our henchmen. Welcome to the team. I trust the minions briefed you on your way here. You evil geniuses are all the same. Something about a new criminal empire? But my plans are so much grander than that. The last one said that too. Let's see what you're made of. I love her voice. Oh. We kind of cut him off a little quick. All right, so now we need an inner sanctum and tutorial mode is off. All right, so we're gonna place her here and let's put the inner sanctum right here because since she's going to be stationed where she is currently standing, I wanna make sure that she's not too far away from her area. Uh, let's have the door. All I have is a normal door. That's a surprise. I'm going to just not build an item for a second because I have a feeling I'm going to get more objects available once the inner sanctum is actually built. Let's clear these alerts. Main objective complete. Yeah. Explain to me why I do not yet have a functional lair. We're going as fast as we can, ma'am. Truth be told, the 
hold is slowing us down. Cool, this is a special one just for Polar. The dying Earth does not have time for slow. My cold generator prototype does not have time for slow. That prototype will secure the funds I need to build the real thing. But to build it, I need a lair. So hurry and turn down the thermostat. If I can't see my breath, it's too warm. <laughs> I like her. Global warming is consuming the Earth and you alone have a solution. Your cold generator would change everything, but it needs investment. Build a prototype, then use it to convince the forces of justice to back you. I don't think they're gonna back us. Oh god, so many things. Hold on, let me let me clear all the all the dealy do's here. Um Oh man, yeah, so this is going to be a long run because you know what I should do? I should also try to chase all the loot. I should just try to chase every single side story. So it's going to take a minute. Um, let's, let's, get, oh god, so many things. Uh, god, clear all of these. Oh, interesting, I don't think the plant pots were allowed to be anywhere other than, no, that can't be true. I don't know. It's been it's been a minute since I played the game. Um, right now I just want to clear all this nonsense. Yep, I knew there'd be a special door. Okay, so special door and this. Let's put the this here. And then we'll cancel the door and then we'll put the this here. And then we'll dirt it up here, and then we'll put the door down again. What- what decor? Stop Give it. oh man, that is one thing that I wish I could- they would add, just the ability to get rid of all of the alerts at the same time, but that's more of an- probably an anxiety thing or whatever. Alright, anyway. So, as long as Polar stays where she is, if this is where she is stationed, I don't think anyone who enters or leaves the base will be able to without their disguise failing them. And eventually we'll be able to auto-tag them to be killed or whatever at that point. Right now I don't have that luxury, but I do have the ability to start researching the auto-tag for distraction. And we can auto-tag inside the casino. That way the agent should stay the hell away from me. So let's get that started. Oh yeah, I still need the data banks. Alright, in that case, let's start the power switch over. So, I need to work slowly because if I just destroy all of the generators at once, then I'm not going to be able to get anything else accomplished. Because power is going to be shut down. So, let's start off by getting rid of this first group. And seeing... Okay, that's a net neutral, according to the thing. Basically, I'm paying $14,000 for nothing. So if we get rid of the next batch, let's make them three long. Okay, so now I'm not disrupting the formation of the room. I'm still getting 54 grand, but I'm losing $51,000. Thank you, Karen. That's what I'm discussing right now. So, this should be fine for now, but I'm going to have to work really slowly and make sure I have the money that I need to do this. Um, so, I mean, this is fine because this is how I prefer playing games anyway. I prefer playing them slowly and methodically. So, I'm going to slowly start working on converting our power over. But what I'm gonna have to do in the meantime is I'm going to have to start getting money everywhere I can. 75, wait, 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 75 gold every five seconds. That's the same as the other ones over here. That's not a very good deal. 
75, 75. Did they homogenize how much money you get? I think they homogenized how much money you get from these missions. That's... I don't know whether I like that. I mean, I guess it gives you the freedom to start wherever you want, but I still maintain Africa is the best place to start because if you're just trying to defend yourself, then Wrecking Bola is the easiest super agent to deal with. So... I don't know. I guess we'll have to experiment from there. So, for now, I think we're good. The only other thing I really need to build is a computer console here so I can start getting some more... Or so I can start getting some intel. So, let's see if that is available. Yes, it is. Okay, sure. Good enough. We'll just add two computer consoles for now. So, my current objective then is we're going to slowly change the power over to these nuclear reactors and then go from there. This new temperature thing is making me rethink how I lay out my base because usually I keep objects two units apart. But... I think I'm going to have to keep everything three units apart now. So I can place aircon units. Yeah. Where I need to. I mean, or I don't need to... I don't need... That's not even really doing anything. Wow, even three wouldn't be enough. Alright, you know what? Screw it. They... Minions, I don't pay you to be comfortable. I pay you to work. Get your shit together and... Build my stuff, even though you could boil water just by exhaling here? That's a sentence that doesn't make any sense either. Point is, get to work, build me power, and shut the fuck up. I do like the fact that unlike Evil Genius 1, you don't have to worry about objects to... Thank you, Nisi. You're interrupting my monologue. I know. Thank you for bringing me your toy. You don't, <laughs> you don't need to worry about researchers looking at old objects, so there's no reason to keep an object that does not directly help you. So from here on out, these generators are not necessary unless I need to cram them into a relatively small space. Otherwise, these nuclear generators are going to be all I need. So switching everything over, while it may take a little time, is just going to be a net positive. We're already up to 99 power, which for me feels a lot more secure. And while I'm on that subject, the next thing I need to do is increase my vault capacity because this is weird. And because I placed my armory off of the vault, which is probably not smart, then I've got a little bit more awkwardness. So let's check the research table. How do I get the advanced money vaults? I can do it now once I have 22k, which I almost have. That's fine, Karen. Alright. So we need to raise a little capital. And another thing I figured out too late, unfortunately, is that in order to raise capital quickly and early, you want to do the side missions. Because they all reward you cash. Not the optionals, although those give you some decent little money bits too. But the side stories. And if we're going to chase everything... May as well start early. Let's get high on the hog. Agent X, who we haven't met yet, once opined that the world would be yours when pigs flew. He was being hyperbolic, to be sure, but why not get literal and have some fun spiting him? Side story begun. No cutscene. If anyone will have information on the flying pig, it's Patriots National News Archives. Sorry, that just gave me a thought to Not For Broadcast, which is the National Nightly Lo News. Hey, Future Pyro, put an iCard in the corner. Go watch my streams of Not For Broadcast. It's a good game. Anyway, you won't have time to sort through their records on site, so just steal them. You got it. So we're going to head over to... Eastern U.S. I need Criminal Network Level 2. Well, crap. Guess I need to research that next, then. So many things to research. Do I have that available yet? Yes, I do have 22 grand. All right. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that now because I'm not hitting the cap of my vault that much just because of all the crap I'm buying. So I think that should be fine for now, but... Ah, so much to research. Hurry up, scientists. I guess some of these optional objectives are easy enough. Interrogate a minion? Why would I ever interrogate a minion? So, let's flag a minion for capture. I, I don't know why we're doing this. Did she just T-pose for a split second? She's Oh, she's putting her arms up. Alright, there we go. Oh man, the vault is super crammed. I'm gonna have to redo some things. Alright, so let's get her... Interrogated. So when we inter when we lock them away, their smarts go up and their morale goes down. Interesting. Oh god, Jubei, what's going on? Who's fighting and why? Okay, whoever it was died quick, but that's fine. All right, we interrogated a minion. Yeah, that that got me money. I'm not gonna ask questions. I think during my first run, I was asked my opinion about how to research, and you've kind of seen it now, especially now that I know what I'm doing. Go for power first, because it'll, or at least very early, because it'll save you. One of the most important things you would think would be increasing the minion count, which is... Not here? Wait, where's the minion count one? Oh, there it is. So, I mean, it's cheap at only 2,200 gold, but early on, it's so easy to build just a crap ton of lockers like this, and your minion capacity is going to be large just from that. I mean, our minion capacity is 141, and I have the level 1 diggy do and haven't even gone any further than that, so... I would advise don't bother with the upgraded mini encounter until you have everything else kind of established. Because you don't need that many minions this early. All those blue sparks are a problem. That means that our technicians are a bit overworked. So let's increase our techie count to 15. And that should help us get our stuff in working order. Oh god, the, uh... Yeah, the interrogation chair doesn't even work anymore because it's so damaged. Yep, we need more techies. Great, so next let's get the auto tag. Never mind, I still need the data banks for that. Um, alright. Looks like we've got the money. Let's disable power on those. Okay, I can't even disable power on the whiteboards. All right, um, so let's get some data banks going. How much is this going to cost me? 15 grand each, so 45. Okay. Um, yeah, all right, so let's do three of those. And our techies... I think I had an optional objective to train techies. Yeah, there we go. And Your even more are coming. Yeah, I know my broadcast Wait, what? Oh, because one of them's broken. <laughs> oh god, techies! Uh... I need to bring my genius over here. We're gonna increase the number of techie, techie trainers for that matter. There we go. Alright. And we're going to prioritize that to make sure that happens. So we should be alright. So once I get this trained, then we can start working on the... Sa oh, I've got it. Uh, okay. Yes, do it. Okay. So now, once, once we have the auto tag trained, I'm going to switch research to increasing vault capacity, because having a vault capacity of 75,000 is not very helpful. Uh, is some of- has some of my money been stolen? Cuz... I should have more gold racks than that. Do we have an intruder several here? 
Alright, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild them, but, uh... That's a bit concerning. Oh, wait, yeah, there. There's a thief. Wait, 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 wait. How did you not get... I guess I shouldn't bother capturing them. I should murder them, but whatever. I hit the wrong button, but I'm not upset about it. All right. I'm going to have to get a camera in here. Yeah, this is weird. It's $75 every five seconds, regardless of whether it's the minions doing it. I mean, the workers or the scientists. It just takes fewer people. But otherwise, the stats are identical. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. I mean, it simplifies calculations, but... I don't, I don't know, I really don't know if I like that. Well, let's give up nine of our scientists, and then can we upgrade this? Not yet, I need more broadcast strength. Alright, we need to expand the control room and get some more radio repeaters. I haven't seen the special animation or look of Polar's uh, inner sanctum, and I really like it. I love the gold theme. She's super cute up there on her ice throne. One of my optional objectives was to train technicians, and now I have one to execute a technician. We have work to do. Yes, we do, and that includes killing a technician. I, I don't know what this gets me. I mean, obviously, it gets me $5,000, which is always helpful. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this, but uh, I also am not going to complain. Is that a tacky? Sure is. Don't want to accidentally kill a scientist. <laughs> well, at least that got everybody back to work. I'm not paying you assholes to eat, assholes. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Eastern Patriot is now upgraded to a level 2. And one of the things I was curious about was the money increase. It's definitely more than 50%, or uh, more than 100%. I went from $75 every 5 seconds to $245 every 5 seconds. Future Pyro, put up what that increase is, because I don't know it. And... Or I don't know it off the top of my head. Not without a calculator. So... I'm not seeing any other other money missions spawning here. But that's good to know that it upgrades that much. I'm just waiting to see if another one spawns, but I guess not. Alright, that's fine. Let's hit the International Enquiry and get the... Let's see, what does that say? Come on, go back. The National News Archive collects stories from every broadcast and tabloid in Patriot territory. In it, there's bound to be at least one mention of a flying pig. Steal all of their records and find it. Okay. You got it. And I've... Oh yeah, my optional Hero objective to murder a technician. Technique. Very helpful. Your henchman is in combat. I forgot I also need... Yeah, we're gonna flag the casino to be auto-distract. Oh, Jubei is... Yeah, Jubei is doing some work here. Come on, buddy. Go get him. There you go. I need to get a conference table because I need to be able to heal my henchmen. So I'm going to station them near the entrance here. So we're going to add another inner sanctum here. With the conference table. That is a massive ass conference table. That is way bigger than the ones for the other evil geniuses. Holy crap. All right. Let's try that again. Uh, oh, God. All right. It's so large. I mean, I'm used to hearing that from John Steele's mom, but that's neither here nor there. Wow, the conference table is pretty badass. I don't like the way this is not centered <laughs> relative to the open room, so we need to do a little rotation here. 
Uh, one, two. There we go. But by having the conference table here and open, I'm hoping that if any soldiers come by and they get a little rambunctious, then my henchmen will be able to do something about it. I wish the henchmen wouldn't wander. It makes sense, but even when you stick them in the conference table, they will usually eventually get up and wander away. However, Jubei needs to really chill out for a while. <laughs> uh, he needs to get his vitality up, so... If he waits there, hopefully he stays there even after he recharges, but I'm not really... I mean, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter. All right, so um, let's turn power back on there, turn power off on our data banks, and then get back to work. We need to inspect records at a computer console. So we just boop that. And I'm going to double our capacity here as well. Because we need to get some intel. So you can also switch this to scientist mode, which forces scientists only to work on it, but that gathers intel faster. I like having that on, so that is what we are going to do. Well, not here. This needs to be inspect records. But this one can be scientist mode, that one can be scientist mode, and that one can be scientist mode. Um, it also gives me a reason to increase our scientist count. Let's go to 15. Very rare that I would have my scientists and techies outnumber my guards, but right That's now complete. we're not under too much attack, so I think I can get away with it. It appears you have found mention of the flying pig after all. And it was created by a company called Ludo Technologies. Investigate further with force. You got it. Ah, this needs to be network level two also? Yeah. Well, this is fine. It's forcing me to increase my money in output, input, generation, and we should be all right. In fact, while I'm here, so right now I'm getting 120 every five seconds for passive generation a level one is 45 dollars is that the an same over in africa it is they did homogenize the incomes i don't know if i like that i mean it, i guess it doesn't matter but like i said it doesn't change my strategy all that much because africa still needs to be the first locale in my opinion because it's got the weakest super agent so Optional objective i don't know complete. whatever i i don't think it makes enough of a difference for me to like it, it might be a net neutral to homogenize the money generation but well whatever it doesn't matter and as i'm wrapping up the episode for today i'm gonna double my guard capacity to 20. Succeeded. we have more intel we have more intel, because I got someone... Let's see, uh, appears you did... Duh, okay, I guess we're doing that right now. Kill investigator, done. Um, build the... Raid the lab? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to get that to level two, which I can do here. So as I suppose we're done, I'm going to... As I suppose we're done, that's not English. As we're wrapping up... Um, okay, Japan needs some help. Let's kill the heat here. Never mind, it's less than half. Let's get money instead. Yeah, even the guards don't generate money any faster. That's so weird. It's it's an interesting rule change. I don't I don't know. I don't know. It it doesn't matter. None of this matters. All right. A criminal network has been upgraded. So that's going to do it for today. So as we start the next episode. We will finish off the side story, get our side flying story. pig, and continue getting loot and everything else as we go for what is going to essentially be a 100% completion run, which I wasn't planning when we started. But screw it! Evil Genius is fun, and I will enjoy playing it. Why can't I do this yet? 
We must progress further in the campaign. Oh, that's fine. We'll get there. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.